Here is a quick one for you. Validation versus verification. Both of these deal with the correctness of the software. And in the most easiest terms, they answer different questions. Validation answer one question, verification answer another question. So what are these questions? Validation asks whether the software does the right thing. Verification, on the other hand, asks whether the software does the thing right. There's a tiny distinction between these two, so I don't blame you if you think that they sort of sound like the same thing. But there is an important distinction, so let's talk about this distinction. As usual, we're gonna use a very simple and silly example to make it easier to understand. So assume that the program you're writing reads a sequence of numbers as input and produces a, a sequence of numbers as output. What the program is supposed to do is essentially that it's supposed to sort these numbers. So, assuming that what we want is that we want numeric uh, sorting in ascending order. If you would give the program, uh, say, 2, 3, 1 in that order, and it produces 1, 2, 3, then that means that the program is working. Importantly, it means that it's working from a verification point of view, but also from a validation point of view. Let's talk about why that is. So, it works from a validation point of view because we said that what the program is supposed to do is that it's supposed to sort in ascending order. Validation deals with whether we have understood the requirement correctly. So the requirement was ascending sorting and we interpreted that correctly because we interpreted it to mean that if you have three to one, that means that you should produce one, two, three. That's the validation point of view or the validation part. The verification part says that, okay, assuming that that's our understanding of what, it's, of what the software is supposed to do, what are the actual results that we get? So assume that that was our understanding. So you can think of it sort of as a two-step process, right? Your client comes to you and says that, okay, what we need is that we need a program that sorts numbers ascendingly. And you say, okay, so that means that if I get three to one, then I'm supposed to produce one, two, three. If I get uh, three, three, one, I'm supposed to produce one, three, three, etc., etc. right? And now we're sort of using use cases to understand the scenario, but you could of course use a number of other ways of understanding your scenario and reaching an agreement with your client. But assuming that you reach a sort of consensus, you say, your client says, yeah, 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 that's actually the thing I'm talking about. That's the software I want to be, have built, right? Then you've, you've achieved validation. But when you're then writing up this program, if you would write up the program such that it doesn't actually produce these numbers, then you've understood the requirements correctly, but you fail to implement the software according to the requirements. In other words, that means that validation is about interpreting the requirements correctly, whereas verification is about actually operationalizing these requirements correctly. But then you might ask yourself the question, okay, but why would anybody ever care about sort of dividing up this erroneous piece of software to reason about what kind of error we are facing? Well, put yourself in this scenario, put yourself in the, I guess, all too often happening scenario of that somebody says to you that, oh, the software doesn't work, or this page doesn't work, or this thing doesn't work, right? Step one what is it that actually doesn't work and what do you mean with doesn't work right validation and verification is one attempt at sort of bringing some level of sanity into that discussion so in other words whenever you are faced with one of these scenarios where you have to figure out what somebody means when they when they say that it doesn't work you can approach it with the concepts of validation and verification so you say okay do you mean that we've misinterpreted what you want the system to do or do you mean that we've successfully understood each other in terms of what the software is supposed to do, but that that's not actually what the software does? This is not just an issue for us as software developers when we are in discussion with our clients. Let's be honest, this is actually an issue with ourselves when we're debugging our own code, right? I think you can all relate to the situation where you're sort of after hours and hours of trying to figure out where the problem lies, sort of feel that like you want to bash your head into the keyboard. Oftentimes, this situation, I would argue, arises because we're sort of narrowing our focus and forgetting what we're actually intending to do. And when we forget what we're actually wanting to do, we're sort of jumping back and forth between validation and verification thinking. Also, as a side note, this is kind of what test-driven development is a lot about zoning in on or even even more specifically behavior-driven development but that's a whole nother discussion so validation and verification can then be used 
as a tool to understand in, in what sense your program doesn't work. Is it not working from a verification point of view or is it not working from a validation point of view? Quick recap. A validation error is that you've misunderstood your requirements or misinterpreted your requirements. A verification error, on the other hand, is when you've understood your requirements correctly, but you've failed to implement what you've understood correctly, correctly. Of course, it should be, it should be said that when I then explain verification errors in that sense, I'm then assuming that, you've also, that you have interpreted the validation part correctly, that you've interpreted the requirements correctly. I mean, it's of course entirely possible to have an error which is both a validation error and a verification error. I mean, it's of course possible to misunderstand the requirement and then even fail to implement the thing that you've misunderstood. Entirely possible. But validation, requirements, and verification are we doing it right. But easiest way to remember the common saying, validation is, are we doing the right thing? Verification is, are we doing the thing right? That's it for today. As always, hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or angry outrages. And apart from that, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next episode. Thanks for watching. It probably makes a lot of sense. It's actually kind of Hello?